I, I started smoking. Um, I, I met a waitress in an all-night um, restaurant. And I was about 16, and she was about 18, and she was super cool. And she smoked. So I would go in the restaurant late at night and, and sit there while she didn't have any customers, and we would talk, and we would smoke, and that's how it started, which is funny because I don't remember her name, but now I have the legacy of, of that. You know, it's a sort of colored everything that I do. But I don't really think that I really considered it and until it actually happened, until I actually, uh, the first time that, that I had to lose two teeth, which, you know, it doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but it's like two teeth, okay, whatever. And then right after that, I lost another, I don't know, 16 or some, something <laughs> along those lines. And even at that point, I was, I was still smoking. And, you know, when you're smoking, you love to smoke. And that's the addiction. And so you, you rationalize that, you justify it um, to say, I love to smoke, when it all kind of gets in the way of, of everything you do. I, I guess for me, you know, in youth when I was smoking, people said, well, you're going to cut 10 years off of your life. And I always said, yeah, but those are the bad years at the end. I, what do I care? But they're not. It's, it's not 80 that all those things start happening. You're not, you're not this feeble old man. But I don't want to die from a smoking-related illness. I, <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of ways to die out there. And I've seen smoking-related illness, and that is not a good one. You know, you have a lot of years left ahead of you, and anything that you want to do in life, anything that you want to do, is better if you're healthy.